Let's do it, guys. Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well out there. Thanks very much for clicking on this video. I think today's video will be probably my 10 best sold sales items that I've ever done in one single episode. I'm just really pumped about the items that have sold this week that I can bring to you guys. I wanna tell you a bit of a story about each item that has sold. So hopefully you get some value out of this one. Hopefully you can find these items and make the same kind of profit because that's why I'm doing these videos each and every week. If you're here for the first time, I'm a full-time online reseller. I sell on eBay, sell on Facebook Marketplace, and I'm putting out three new videos right here on YouTube every single week talking about it. So it'd be great to have you on board. Hit the subscribe button and give this video a like as well. It's a really great way to support the channel and I can't thank you enough for doing so. Let's dive into it. We're gonna do something a little bit different this week. Kick it off with a book sale that I made in just off last week's trip to the thrift on Thursday. So let's dive into it. So this was a really cool find, guys. I paid a dollar for this Dark Souls 2 video game strategy guide. Now. I spend a lot of time in the op shops, obviously. I spend a lot of time looking at the book section and there is some real value to be made. This book here, when I did my comps in the op shop, it was coming up at $90 on resale value on eBay for a used copy. Now, I was very lucky to have my hands on it, obviously only paying a dollar. I've gone ahead and I've taken an offer for it at $80 within the space of just 24 hours on eBay. So I've pretty much got the comparative comps of about $90. I'm happy to take the 80 bucks because it's sold in such a quick space of time and I only paid a dollar for it. When you take everything out of it, I've made $58.80 on this single hard covered book. And look, I'm not putting this video uh, together with this item just for you to go, okay, let's go find Dark Souls 2. I'm putting this into the video for you guys to go, there is money to be made in unique hard covered books or any, any type of book out there. So have a bit of a look in your op shops, do a bit of a scan through each and every book, see what the comps are on eBay, because there is a lot of money to be made in this category. And hopefully, this one just proves that. Now this next one was a case of holding out for the right price. I found this Sydney 2000 Olympics jumper. This was the Panasonic team and it had their Sydney 2000 Olympics mascots on it as you can see here. This was a really cool jumper and it was in great condition. I think it was a women's medium or a women's large. I've only paid $5 for it, flicking through the clothing rack of my local op shop. Now I really wanted to hold out for top end dollar on this because I just thought it was worth high end. So I've listed it initially for a hundred bucks, didn't get any nibbles. This is going to say cycle of 112 days. I probably declined, I think about 15 offers over the journey. And eventually just yesterday, this is sold for its full price by the time I'd whittled it down to $80, $79.99. So when you take out fees and postage, I've profited $57.39 off a single item of clothing. So look, it's gonna be a tough one to find potentially this sort of an item, but if you can find anything sort of Sydney Olympics related, 2000, it's now vintage status, you're probably gonna get a few dollars for it. So I was just really stoked to hold out for the right price. If you've got an item that you think you can hold out for top end dollar for, definitely do so because you'll be thankful when the sale finally comes. This next one is a really good book series to get your hands on. Lee Child, Jack Reacher. They're crime thriller books, awesome ones to get your hands on. They move very, very fast. I've ended up finding 25 of these in the op shop and I had 12 on the shelf and then a lady came up to me and she said, are you the guy that was collecting all 25 of these Jack Reacher series? And I was like, yes, I am. I certainly wasn't, but I wasn't gonna say no to that. And I quickly acted fast, grabbed all the books off the shelf, went out the back, grabbed the other 13, paid for them and got out of there super quick. So obviously disappointing for the bloke that was gonna come in and collect them, but I've had to get in quick and get this one done and I'm really happy that I have. It sold for $120 and uh, I've still got 13 left. So I've sold half of these, 12 sold for 120, basically $10 a book. And I've been able to profit $64 basically within the space of just 10 days. So I've still got another half to go, hopefully another $120 there. We're talking $240 worth of books and I only paid $50 at $2 each. So definitely an author, definitely a series to look out for and get your hands on if you can find it. Lee Child and the Jack Reacher crime series. The next one is a awesome DVD that I found after sifting through the op shops DVD rack. Let me know in the comments, do you actually spend the time to sit there in the DVD rack and look through every single one to try and find some profit? Well, I've started to do that over the last few weeks and I've been actually pulling out some really great results. I found this Dawn of the Dead 
DVD. Obviously, in a $1 DVD rack, they are always only around the $1 or $2. This one was comping on eBay. It was a horror DVD, first of all, and the horror DVDs go on to sell very well uh, across the board, generally speaking. This one was worth about $40 to $50 for a single used copy DVD, and it sold within the space of 39 days, which is a relatively fast sales cycle for $44.99. It just blew my mind to think that you can get a dollar DVD and go on to sell it for $45 bucks on eBay. So, Fees and postage, I've profited $34.64 on a used horror DVD. It's a great space to play in if you have the time, patience, and attention to sift through the DVDs in your local store. You're probably gonna pull out a few dollars each and every time. And this is obviously just proof of that. Now, I've probably stepped away a little bit from hard goods. So DVDs, printers, um, VHS players, all those sorts of things. But every now and again, I'll pick one up that I know I can make some money on. I found this VHS DVD player combo. When you find the combo of both VHS and DVD, you're always gonna make a few more dollars. So this one was actually bought on Facebook Marketplace. I've paid just 15 bucks for it. I, I couldn't say no. I no longer sell this sort of stuff, but when I saw it for 15 bucks, not only was it in good condition and it worked completely fine, but it also had the manual and it also had the remote and cables. So it was a complete deal. You had everything you wanted to get top end dollar. I've listed it onto eBay and I have actually waited around and I've taken an offer on this one. So it was a 57 day sales cycle and it sold for $149.99. So when you take out fees and postage, I basically profited $100, $98.99. So I'm really happy to have waited the two months to get the sale because I did end up profiting $100. I don't always do the hard goods, but whenever you do spy them like a VHS DVD combo, definitely pick it up when it's being offered to you for just $15. Now, if you can find this brand in the op shop, you're always gonna get very good money for it in a very quick space of time on eBay. It was the Jordan, the Air Jordan basketball shorts. These were black and blue. It had the Jordan logo on the front right, and it also had Air on the side for obviously Air Jordan. Now, these have got on to sell in a really quick space of time, 17 days, and I've sold for $39.99 for a used pair of basketball shorts. So the Jordan brand does hold up. You do get really good money for it. Look out for for it. Now I've paid just $3 in the op shop. Obviously those guys weren't aware of the Jordan brand and how much it's actually worth. And I've been able to profit $24.59. If I can profit $25 on a single pair of shorts, I think they turn into a bit of a bolo brand to look out for. I think that's a very good turnaround, $25 on a single item. So that's why I wanted to talk to you about it today. I've, I've been able to get that 25 for these Jordan shorts and hopefully you guys can go out and find it too. This was also purchased in the exact same op shop for just a dollar. It was the Mario Kart Nintendo Wii video game. Now, I knew the minute I saw this that this was going to be worth top end dollar. I've ended up selling it for $40 within the space of just eight days. When you take out fees, take out postage, I profited $29.30 basically within the space of a week. So, guys, this is definitely a bolo item to keep your eyes out for. It's a really, really good game to get your hands on. Uh, and to profit almost 30 bucks on a single video game in used condition it is a fantastic result. And I think the big one with the video games, just make sure that you've got the manual and the case. I mean, you can sell it with game only, but you're going to get top end dollar if it's got the manual with the video game. Obviously, make sure that there are no scratches as well. And if you can test the video game out, even better. But uh, generally, a lot of Nintendo Wii games can be worth only five or $10. But every now and again, you get a game like this where it is top end around the $40 price point. So super stoked to get it. Really fast sale. Do keep an eye out for it. Mario Kart on the Nintendo Wii. Now, it was just the one piece of furniture that sold for me this week. It was this buffet table that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace for $50. I always buy my furniture for 50 bucks, and I know that I can sell it for between $150 to $200, depending on the item. Now, this buffet table, I knew that I could probably go $200 on. I didn't. I went $175, and it sold within the space of just 10 minutes. I captured it in Tuesday's video if you wanted to go and check that one out. But uh, this one was just a great one because it sold, obviously, so fast. It was in like new condition. You don't need to buy furniture that's damaged or faulty in any way buy a piece of furniture that looks basically brand new give it a really good clean and then list it for between 150 to 200 and you should go all right now this buffet table i have sold many times before and i've always sold between that figure so to get 175 for it delivered it locally which is what i'm always doing with my furniture i've profited 125 dollars in 10 minutes from the minute it got listed so a really great great way to earn some money if you're only doing this casual part-time i do encourage if you have the capabilities to get into flipping furniture, you 
you really should do so because uh, I do this every single week. It's a great top up to my eBay sales and to make $125, we're talking some pretty high resale profit. I've been selling a lot of shoes lately, guys. I'm really enjoying the process. I find the shoes incredibly easy to list, at least for me and myself anyway. There's never any details that I'm missing out on. It's always a complete listing and I always get some pretty good sales results as well off what I'm able to purchase them for. Now, these Adidas Superstar 2s were just $3.50 in the local op shop. The minute I grabbed them, I knew that the condition they were in, they're going to go on to sell for top end dollar. $59.97 is what they've sold for. Sales cycle of 31 days. So they've sold within the space of a month. And when you're buying them for only $3.50, you profit at the end of the day, $38 and 87 cents. A huge result there for a single pair of shoes found in the thrift for just three bucks 50. So spend your time on the shoes. It's a great one, I think, for beginners. If you're just starting out and you're wanting to get into a category, I personally think that shoes are a very easy category. You can often really tell whether the quality is there or not. You can obviously go on to sell them for some pretty good money as well, get a very good profit margin. Uh, and they do seem to sell pretty regularly on eBay. It's a good category that so certainly moves pretty fast if you can find the right pair of shoes and the right brands. Just stick with your major ones like Adidas, Nike, etc. So this one was a good one, Adidas sale, um, $38.87. Um, hopefully, there's a few more of those to come. So they were my 10 best sold sales items of the week, guys. Hopefully, you got some value out of those. I wanted to dive into our featured reseller of the week now, doing some good things. And we've got Brad from Diary of a Flipper this week. And I'm pumped to have him on the channel because he's been a huge help for me since I first got into reselling. He knows a lot about this space. And he's got an awesome YouTube channel, a true Australian, loves a beer, loves a footy. And he's also got quite a funny YouTube channel as much as some really great knowledge. So all the details are here. He goes by Diary of a Flipper on YouTube. I'll put it in the links below. He's also got his Instagram as well, Diver Flipper. So go and give him some love there. He's got a great sale that only came through yesterday uh, that he's flicked through to me to put into today's episode. And he was in a house, so it was either a garage sale or a Facebook Marketplace pickup, but he's been able to find 20 to 30 really good original pressing vinyl records. And eight of them were Michael Jackson original pressing vinyl records. And he's been able to go on to sell them for $180 plus postage. Just a huge get when you're only paying 20 cents each in somebody's home. So just a fantastic grab, a ripping sale. And I know through watching past uh, videos of Brad's that he, this isn't the first time. He, he's quite good in the record space. He's gone on to sell quite a few. Um, but obviously buying 20 to 30, he thinks the resale value on these vinyl records when it's all said and done will be upwards of $700. So guys, I look for vinyl records myself all the time and I've never been able to find any that are worth anything. And uh, here Brad is getting a collect for 20 cents each and uh, making what will be 700 when it's all finished up. So well done, mate. Go and give him a subscribe. Uh, he's a ripping channel and um, yeah, you'll get a lot of value out of it if you're watching his videos. So thanks very much for being our featured reseller of the week, Brad. Thank you for all your help and um, I look forward to grabbing a beer with you hopefully at some point down the line. All right, guys, let's have a look at the sales numbers just to let you know how I've tracked along this week. If we pull the table up, I've been able to sell 42 items this week, which is a little bit over the average. It's generally high 30s. So really happy to get into the 40s this week. Uh, cost of goods, $335, which has gone on to make me $1,740 in total sales. And my profit at the end of the day on that figure is $1,405, 81% profit margin. A lot of thrifted goods this week. I will say that that $1,405, that doesn't include postage. Postage is sort of separate for me. I don't really like to consider it. I've, I've sold $1,400 worth of goods and I've profited $1,405 plus postage. So a really great week. I'm super stoked to end the month being the 28th of Feb with a fantastic week like 1700. On Tuesday, I'll be bringing out a video that recaps the last 28 days of February, just to give you a look at, at how the month has gone and what I've done this month to, to get a, a, what has been almost a record month if I can let the cat out of the bag early. Um, but this week, nothing has changed. And what I do wanna say, 15 items of listing I found difficult, but I've really tried to maintain that number and stick to it and really continue to try and list that figure. I'm not having an issue with sourcing. I still think I'm being able to find that, that 15 that I need every single day, but it's actually just the process of committing to two hours worth of listing every single day that's sort of doing my head in. But um, I know that I need to be listing that number to get the sales figures that I need. Um, I also think patience. I, I think I'm learning that patience is such a crucial thing. The minute you do a week's worth of 15 listings, you're not gonna immediately get 
seven or eight sales every single day because of the fact that you've just started. This takes time for the algorithm to develop the fact that you're now doing 15 listings a day. So I'm probably not gonna see the overall success of what I've done over the last two months for potentially another two or three months down the line. So I know that there's a real patience game. You've got to feed in the certain number that you need to, which for me is 15 to get to where I need to be. And then eventually the algorithm will click in. So look, if you're not getting the sales right up front and you're putting in the hard work and effort, my advice to you today is just keep persisting with that game plan because eventually eBay and the algorithm will click in for you and you'll start to get sales because you're a regular lister every single day. That, that's the most crucial step. Never give up, keep listing items, keep sourcing great items, keep tweaking your processes, taking better photos, cleaning the product a little bit better and eventually the sales will start to trickle in. And I really do think while I've started to sort of see that, I'm gonna to start to see that a hell of a lot more over the next couple of months. And hopefully I can bring you some record sales months to prove that consistent listing every single day will get you a really good result. So that's everything this week, um, $1,740, nothing different, the same processes causing those results to slowly increase. And um, I'm feeling pretty good about things moving forward. Um, We'll do a breakdown on Thursday, on Tuesday's uh, video, like I said. So I'm really excited to bring you all those numbers. It'll be a number crunching episode, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, we'll catch you then. Hopefully you've had a good weekend and a good week of sales and we'll see you in the next vid. Thanks guys.